On a late winter night, a police officer received a phone call from a little boy. The voice was timid. The weakness in his sound was pretty evident. The boy went, hello, can someone help me? I haven't eaten anything in three days. The 911 call put the police on standby and they requested him more details. He described his neighborhood. The boy revealed that he lived in a trailer and found some coins laying around, which he used to make this 911 call. Please help, I have no idea how much time I have left, said the voice. The dispatcher of the call reassured the boy to stay calm, return to his trailer and wait for the police to arrive. A normal boy missing case, you may think. But what followed may blow your mind. Don't you want to know what happened next? Millions may be calling up 911 daily. Why was this one phone call so special? What did it lead to? What did the cops find on arrival at the scene? Stay tuned to know. But before moving further, subscribe to our channel and tap on the bell icon for more spine-chilling content. Let's get into it. An officer named Jason Parker was immediately sent to the scene. Even then, the police aren't sure if it's yet another prank call or if the boy is a genuine victim. The cop arrived at the scene and knocked on the trailer door. He said, Officer Parker here responding to a 911 call, is anybody home? As expected, nobody answered the door, but the officer could hear a feeble noise from inside. This was his cue to force his way in, and what he saw inside was a pale little boy with his hands to his stomach as he lay on the ground. Help me, the boy cried. As Mr. Parker went further inside the trailer, he discovered that the boy wasn't the only occupant. On a small, worn-out mattress, he saw a sleeping woman, too weak to even move. He checked her pulse and discovered that it was slow. The boy was the only one capable of answering all the questions that crossed the mind of Jason Parker. Upon asking, the boy replied that his name was Adam, and the woman beside him was his mother, Lisa. She lost her job at the factory four days ago, and they haven't gone out of the trailer since. They had eaten nothing for the past three days, and the woman was too weak to move. The boy was in tears as he said this. He told them they desperately needed help. Officer Parker was quick to act and immediately requested medical backup. When the ambulance arrived, Lisa was taken out of the trailer in a stretcher while the little boy rode with the cop in his patrolling car. Officer Parker tried his best to calm down the little boy and told him his mother would now be okay. Upon admission to the hospital, the doctors diagnosed that Lisa was malnourished. They believe she hadn't eaten much even before she lost her job. The doctor suggested that the mother remains in the hospital until she regained her strength and fully recovered. Now that the mother would be in the hospital, the question was, what would happen to the boy? The procedure is that he is taken care of by social workers who would put the boy in a foster family for the time being. But the thought of separating from his mother and living with other people scared the little kid. Officer Parker couldn't stand to see this and inquired if it was legally possible for the boy to stay with him until his mother got discharged from the hospital. The officer was a bachelor himself and realized it wouldn't be much trouble for him to take care of the boy for a few days. To their happiness, the social workers agreed and started preparing the paperwork. In the meantime, the cop decided to take the boy somewhere to eat. He took him to a restaurant and the boy clung to his fingers as if they had known forever. This gesture melted the officer's heart. He knew then he had to take good care of the boy. Isn't the moment a little boy wraps his whole hand around your fingers enough to make a grown man start thinking about having a family of his own? The little kid was feeling much better after finishing his meal. His tears had gone away and the boy started to talk more. Adam told Jason that it was always his mom and he living in the trailer ever since their dad abandoned them. Lisa worked at the factory and somehow managed to make both ends meet. But a budget cut had cost her job and they had no money saved. The situation was so bad that they couldn't afford basic food. By the third day, the boy had lost all hope and thought his mom would die. This was when he made the phone call. He didn't know then a man so generous would show up on their doorstep. This heartbreaking tale can make even a grown man cry. From that moment, he promised himself that he would do everything he could to help the boy and his mother. When they returned to the hospital from the restaurant, the paperwork was complete and Parker was now Adam's foster father. The boy bade goodbye to his mom and promised he would return the next day. They went back to Jason's home. The cop knew the little boy needed some rest and prepared the spare bedroom in his home for the kid to sleep in. The following morning, Jason prepared food for Adam and his mom, Lisa. Jason Parker has always been a good cook and was happy to have people share his dishes with him now. 
Adam was very tired and woke up late just before lunchtime. He was elated to find out that food was already waiting for him at the table. The boy yelled, thank you, Officer Parker, in delight. The cop told him there was no need to call him by his second name and told the boy to address him as Jason as he put some food on Adam's plate. Lisa was already conscious when they returned to the hospital. The boy rushed to his mom and hugged her tight. He pointed to Jason and exclaimed how he had saved them that night. Lisa glanced at Jason and smiled. Little did they know then that this was the start of something. She thanked the officer for his kindness. Jason said he was happy to help and told her, you have a sweet boy. He reassured Lisa that he would take care of the boy and asked her to focus on her health. From that day on, Jason Parker took Adam to his school in his patrol car and rode with him to the hospital every day for the next two weeks. By the end of the second week, Lisa had made a full recovery and was cleared by the doctors to head home. This was happy news, of course, but Jason was a bit sad as he knew this meant that he could no longer see Adam. The boy cheered up the cop and promised to visit frequently. Did the three know then that their story was just beginning? Every time Jason visited Adam, he got to know Lisa a little more. The more time they spent together, they could no longer resist the connection. Eventually, the two admitted their feelings for each other. Jason and Lisa fell in love and married in a simple ceremony with Adam as the witness. Adam was delighted as he now had both mom and dad. Their family only grew from then as they welcomed a baby girl nine months later. Isn't it amazing how life always has the wildest stories in store for us? From a 911 call to leading a happy life together, Jason, Lisa, and Adam have come a long way. Their story makes you believe in the goodness of people again. Even when you have lost all hope, someone may knock at your doorstep and change your whole life. This love story truly makes us appreciate life more. We hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave your thoughts on this tale in the comments. Please share it with your family and friends. We will be back with more content. Stay tuned.